is not self-defense. This is genocide. It is a war crime and the world will hold Israel accountable. I will hold Israel accountable. As an American, I will continue to speak out against my country for funding Israel, as will all decent Americans. Israel and the United States have already lost this war. And let me tell you what I mean. Before this situation happened, my opinion of the Israel versus Palestine issue is that Israel was the good guys and everybody was trying to kill them. And they were surrounded by a bunch of uh, Arab terrorists in all these different countries. And the people in Gaza and the West Bank were Muslim terrorists who just wanted to kill all the Jewish people, or they were protecting terrorists, one or the other. That was my knowledge. That That has what has been fed to me in the United States of America for the 54 years of my life. Now, I have educated myself on the situation. I said to myself, well, why is all this happening? And so I learned about the 1953 uh, CIA coup, top of the government of Iran, and then how that sparked the Iranian revolution in 1979, uh, which basically that it was the foundation of terror as we know it uh, in the Middle East, right? We've learned about all of these things and we've learned that the United States funds 16% of Israel's military budget. The only thing that is going to change this conflict is the horror of Western people like me right now that are seeing this and saying, holy fuck. But you have to understand something. We're just getting to this spot right now. And what we're seeing is that the Palestinian people have been undergoing this for 75 years. This is no different than anything else that they've gone through for 75 years. Entire generations. What's different about it this time? Westerners are finally speaking up. And unfortunately, that's the only thing the Palestinians can do to get their message out to the world because the Zionist Israelis, they have a hold on the information networks and always have. That has now disappeared. And they're still trying desperately to frame the narrative on social media, but now people are seeing through it. Now we have things like TikTok where we can screenshot Israel's statements that they put out where they claim that they did bomb the hospital. And then we can see them delete them. And then we can see them come up with a new one that's, ah, oh, this is a video. And then we can prove that the video is fake. We can follow everything that's happening. All we gotta do is open our eyes and start looking. And so this is what's gonna happen. Israel's money is going to dry up from the United States. Right now, there's one thing that unites Democrat and Republican politicians and media in the United States, and that is the support for Israel. America is in bed with the Zionist Jewish lobby. And we see that now, and we are gonna dry that motherfucking funding up, let me tell you. It may seem like, oh, we've been trying to do this for years and years and years and years, but it just never works. Yeah, it's gonna work now because white people like myself are finally fucking telling the story of the Palestinian people. And it's gross, it's disgusting that that's what it takes. But it's here, and we are going to fucking hold them accountable. Like, I'm telling you right now, I've made a solemn fucking promise to myself and here vocally on TikTok. I will never vote for another politician under any circumstances who supports the funding of Israel, period. And I'm just one guy with a small platform. But let me tell you, there's more of me and more of me and more of me. And I'm gonna keep educating people and they're gonna keep educating people. And we're all gonna just fucking say, we will no longer vote for anybody who funds Israel. And I'm telling you, when that fucking happens, the state of Israel that you know of today will cease to exist. It will either adapt and make peace or it will be destroyed because they won't have any fucking money anymore. Because the only reason Israel is alive today is because of America's money. That's the reality of the situation. And so how do I see this ending? Um, not only with a marked change in what Israel is right now, but the freedom of the Palestinian people. And then I see this influencing many, many, many other revolutions across the world, just like the American Revolution did. That's what's gonna happen. People are waking up and I can't wait for it.